Well, it's officially official, and I don't know how to feel about this. Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley. The story arc has finally come to an end as far as the contract talks go. We can finally put this to rest, although I'm pretty sure Giants Twitter is imploding and exploding at the same exact time right now and going off on a civil war. It's going to be a civil war for the rest of the offseason. I already know. Daniel Jones, as I predicted, signed a four-year deal, but he got a lot more than I thought that he was going to get. I know the market is trending towards those $40 million quarterbacks. I just didn't think Daniel Jones had it in him to get a $40 million contract on an annual average annual uh, value basis, AAV basis. But he got a four-year, $160 million deal, which obviously is divided by four. Those four years is $40 million dollars with 35 million extra in incentives so obviously i'm guessing playoffs touchdowns the cutting interceptions down turnovers uh wins i'm sure that all plays into it as quarterback contracts usually do so daniel jones is going to be paid a boatload of money especially if he hits those incentives and listen i'm not on board with it i think everybody knows that i've been very rational and very non-biased when it comes to these talks with with daniel jones that i'm not i like daniel jones i'm a supporter of daniel jones but i'm not a guy to go ahead and pay him 40 million dollars but i said if we no matter how much we do pay him if we do pay this guy i'm on board with him like i'm not and that goes for any player like real people need to relax and think you know and start thinking about things rationally i know the quarterback position is the most important position but we're giants fans if you're a giant if you wear that ny on your helmet i root for you man i don't care if you're evan ingram i root for you and i was a big evan ingram uh criticizer um but daniel jones is going to be with us for at least the next four years we don't know how the contract details are looking like how where the money is allocated in each individual year it's not going to be even throughout you know 40 million dollars every single year we're probably going to see about 10 to 15 million dollars in this year's cap and then obviously he's going to be backloaded we're going to see him getting trending towards like 50 million dollars towards the end of that contract on a yearly basis now for all the daniel jones like super supporters right the daniel jones super fans you have to start treating Daniel Jones like a franchise quarterback now. No more babying him, saying he doesn't have weapons. And listen, I said that too in defense of him. This is why I didn't want him to get that type of contract because although he elevated a lot of these players' play and he did well for what he was given, he has to outperform. He ha He's getting paid like a top-tier quarterback. He has to outperform. No more excuses saying he doesn't have weapons. He's not getting this and this in his favor because Patrick Mahomes is not getting that. Josh Allen is not getting that. Uh, Joe Burrow is not getting that. I mean, no matter what happens, they be, he's the type of quarterback. He's being paid like the quarterback that needs to face and handle adversity the right way. And no matter who is on the field beside him. And for the Daniel Jones haters out there, you have to support this guy. What what is your hate and criticize and just your emotional uh, tantrums going to do for this team? It's not going to do anything. Not and our support honestly does do, do something for the team. Our support, the fan base, and being behind a player does help a team. Does help morale. It really doesn't do anything for you just to just cry about it. It's good to get our reactions out now, but when it comes to the season. We have to be behind this guy. But that does not mean for the Daniel Jones supporters out there. I'm going side by side. I'm smacking you guys both in the face. For the Daniel Jones supporters out there, it is okay to criticize Daniel Jones. If he makes a bad throw, bad interception, he loses us a game, turnovers, this and that. You have to be able to swallow that pill. He's being paid $40 million a year on a yearly basis. You have to be able to criticize Daniel Jones now. You have to be able, both sides need to come to the middle when it comes to this. All right, so let me be the moderator. Let me be the moderator for the masses of Giants Twitter and Giants YouTube when it comes to Daniel Jones, man. I'm probably the most rational person you can talk to when it comes to this subject, which is why I'm just so, 
you know, strung out and just tired of the this conversation because it hasn't changed for me since the end of the season. So I wanted Daniel Jones back. I didn't want him on a contract. I wanted him on a three to four million, uh, three to four, three to four year deal worth thirty five million dollars. That's where that's like the the sweet spot that I wanted him on ideally. But he got four years, six, 160 million, 40 million dollars a year. That was way over I would have wanted. So, uh, and you guys, you guys got to remember. I know a lot of people are saying, "Oh, that's just an extra five million a year. It's not that much." But you got to think about it as these contracts are backloaded. If you're talking about uh, 35 million dollars being backloaded over the course of four years, you're probably looking at a max cap hit of like 40, maybe 40 million, uh, 43 million dollars. Now with a 40 million dollar contract, you're probably looking up to upward towards about 50 million dollars, even maybe more than that. So um, that's that's the reality you have to look at. And then Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley got put on the franchise tag. So he'll be paid a base pay, a guarantee, completely guaranteed pay of $10.1 million this season. Now, we have to see if Saquon Barkley even plays on that tag. He put a tweet out congratulating Daniel Jones, very supportive. And that's just a stand-up guy that Saquon Barkley is. I love this guy, one of my favorite players, one of my favorite Giants of all time, just because of um, just because of the, the energy and the leadership he brought to this team. Um and, and you know, no matter what happens, I'm in support of Saquon. He's probably may he may hold out of this one. Remember, he did deny he did deny his uh, 12 million dollar per year multi year contract um, early on in the off season, a potential extension, and he denied it. He he I don't know if there was a counter offer or whatever it is, but it was on a 12 and a half million dollar deal, and he denied it. So uh, this is for 10.1 million dollars now. Something that I did say is that maybe he denied that multi-year contract to uh, to twelve and a half million dollars per because of guaranteed money. Maybe the guaranteed money wasn't there that he wanted because you know, I could see how that may be a problem because Saquon Barkley hasn't been the most healthiest uh, player in the world, and you know his production is very high when he is on the field. So you know th those type of things can kind of counteract each other when it comes to talking guaranteed money, but his contract. His franchise tag contract is 100% guaranteed. It's $10.1 million guaranteed. That's more than any guaranteed money he'll be making unless it was fully guaranteed on that multi-year contract uh, that he wanted. But um, maybe he does play on it. Who knows? And maybe they get him extended for the next uh, seasons to come. But I want Saquon Barkley back. Um, I do. Let's see what happens with, with him being paid. But I would pay Saquon Barkley around $13 million. I would. If he stays healthy. If he stays healthy. This is like best case scenario if he stays healthy 13 million dollars i would i would definitely go not any more than that probably 14 is pushing it for a running back although it's my favorite position but that is what it is that is the news guys daniel jones and saquon barkley are back so far uh, for at least the 2023 season through the 2027 season for daniel jones let me know your thoughts in the comment section below guys leave a like if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new and i'll see you guys in the next video